Hello students, so let's try to go for one more problem for group theory and this is a physical uh, problem and uh, you can visualize this problem and here we are just talking about the rotation of equilateral triangle and we are we have three operation. So suppose this is my equilateral triangle, we can just visualize like this. So this is my equilateral triangle and I can give the vertex of this one, 1, 2 and 3 and this is rotation about z axis. So maybe this is y axis, this is x axis and this one is z axis. And we all know that the angle between these, these and this will be 120 degree. So we know all this thing because these sides are same. So there are three operation is going to define. What are these three operation? The first operation is rotation of 120 degree, rotation with 120 degree that is R1. And when it is going to rotate with 120 degree, then what will happen? This curve will convert it into, this 3 will come here, 1 will come here and 2 will come here. If I am going to rotate this one with 120 degree. If I am going to rotate this will 240 degree, then what will happen? That means again we are going to rotate with 120 degree. So that means we will just get this one. That means 2 will be here and 3 will be here and 1 will be here. And third one is all about if we are again going to rotate this one R3 with 360 degree then what will happen? Then we have again get this one 1, 2 and 3. So what we have to do? We have to just figure it out whether these three things this three operation R1, R2 and R3 is group or not. So first thing what we will do, we will just see whether they are following the closure relation or not. What is meaning of that? If we are going to rotate this with the 120 degree and then we are going to rotate with 240 degree, obviously the complete rotation is 360 degree and that will be the part of this particular group element. So these are element of this particular group and again we can see that if we have R2 operation R3 that means we are going to rotate with 240 degree and again we are going to rotate with 360 degree then what we will get? We will get R2. So here we can easily visualize that all during the operation of R1, R2 and R2, R3 they belongs to the same group. So they are following the closure relation. And here we are assuming the rotation is in an anti-clockwise direction. So rotation is in anti-clockwise direction. Now let us try to figure out the existence of identity. So we can easily see if we will take any figure and we are going to rotate with 360 degree, we will get the same thing. Any condition we will take and we will get what? Same thing. So what we have? We have R3 operation. R3 is R3. R3 operation R2 is R2. And R3 operation R1 is also R1. So what I have? Here I can identify R3. That means rotation with 360 degree is identified as identity operator or identity element. And next is the very interesting thing we have to just talk about the basically inverse element. So what will happen? So here R3 is also inverse of R3. This is very simple. So what we will get? R3 is going to operate on R3. We will get R3 and we identify R3 is my inverse. So now what will happen? First we are going to rotate R2 and then we have to rotate the R2 means we are going to rotate with 240 degree and then we are just going to rotate with 120 degree. What will happen? We will get R3. Isn't it? So here R2 is the inverse of R1 and similarly we have first rotate with R1 120 degree and again we are going to rotate with R2 and that is again we will have complete rotation with 360 degree that is 
identity. So R2 is inverse of R1 and R1 is inverse of R2. So yes, they are, they have just following that we have, uh, there is existence of inverse also. And next we, are, we have to check, we have to check all about the associative law. So when we are talking about the associative law, we have to take R1 operation R2 operation R3. So what we are going to do, first we are rotating with 120 degree and then we are rotating with 360 degree and again we are rotating with 360 degree, then we are getting the same thing. So either we are rotating this one, then we will get same thing. Just like as R1 operation, R2 operation, R3. Here we are rotating first uh, R2, that means 240 degree and then we are rotating 360 degree and then we are rotating 120 degree, we are getting the same thing. So yes, they are also following the associative rule. And here we can also see R2 operation R1 is equal to R3 and R1 operation R2 is also R3. So this is a abelian group. They are just a part of, they can be identified as abelian group as well as they are finite dimensional group. So there are three number of elements are there. So they are basically what? Finite dimensional group. So I have just taken this thing and you can just take anyone from the initial condition and you can do it and you will get exactly same kind of uh, situation. So students, just try to understand this particular problem. This is a very nice problem uh, about the rotation of a equilateral triangle about Z axis in a anti-clockwise direction with three different op operators or three different rotation that is 120, 240 and 360. Thank you.